Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint with liquid pearls. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, first thing you want to do is start with an embossed image. And I have here a stamp that was embossed using some silver tinsel embossing powder. And the reason we're using an embossed image is the liquid pearls will resist the embossing powder a bit and will allow you to stay inside the lines. Okay, so there's two ways that you can use it. And you can use it full on without adding water because liquid pearls are a dimensional pearlescent paint and they're, they're acrylic based and so you could do it straight out of the bottle. You just put some onto the craft sheet and then you begin to paint inside your image. And this will give you a little texture if you like while you're painting. And our liquid pearls come in a variety of colors and we're always adding new colors all the time. And then as soon as I get finished with this, I'm going to show you how to watercolor with the liquid pearls. Okay, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but you wanna start off with a dry brush if you are just painting it straight out of the bottle. Okay, so that's good. And I'm gonna rinse off my brush here and I'll bring it closer to the camera, but to see if you can see the shimmer here. It's not quite catching it, but when we're done, I'll show you again. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm doing is using it as a watercolor. So I just wanna make sure my brush is clean here and I'm using our taffy color next. And I'm gonna put some onto the craft sheet and I'll get my brush again and I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the paint and you'll see it becomes like a watercolor and I'm going to add a little bit more until I get the right consistency and if you find you get your brush too wet you can always tap off and I'm going to go ahead and first color in my hearts and then you get a nice pearlescent watercolor like so Again, I'm going to bring that up later because it's too small for you to see. And then tapping off and painting this one in. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up this flower here. I think I'm going to continue with the taffy for the flower. get all the petals first and actually not only can you do this with an embossed image you could try doing it through a stencil and you can use um, just a, a waterproof ink when you're doing this but I like the um, embossing because it does help you to stay inside the lines but if you don't care about that those are other options that you could do so I'm rinsing my brush and cleaning it and now I'm going to be using sage so again, we're gonna put some onto the craft sheet. And we're going to do the leaves. Add some water. And as you're mixing, you wanna make sure you get a nice fluid paint. If you don't have enough water, you'll get some lumps in there. And let me tap off, cause it's kinda wet. And then I'll paint in the leaves. Just like so. And then that's it. And you wanna let it dry before you put it onto your card. But I have some that I already did that I let dry and I'll go ahead and put them on the card. And then I can bring it up to you and show you how pretty this looks once it dries. 
So I have some double-sided adhesive already on here. And I'll put this down in the corner. And then I have a clear dimensional adhesive that I'll put over here. And then I'll add this like so. And then you have this sweep card, perfect for a wedding or a bridal shower. And you can see the pearlescent shine and it just gives it a little something extra. And so now I wanna show you some other cards that we've made, just to give you some more ideas. This one, the, we embossed it in white and painted in the trees with the pearls. And here the balloon was painted and we even have brown um, liquid pearls. And you can see the little bit of shimmer there that it gives. Here's another embossed in gold and then the flowers were colored in. And then you can even paint die cuts. And this one was painted full on without adding any water. And you see that beautiful shimmer? So these are just some examples to show you how you can paint with liquid pearls. So keep watching more videos below to find out what else you can do with them.